Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, last time we helped Jal, well, helped ourselves a bit on Podromos and uh, fought off the Rokar, and uh, we needed to wait on uh, Axel's next move. Well, that didn't take long because when I entered the uh, Tempest again, we already got an email that uh, Axel is probably on his way to somewhere else. There we go. Jal, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jal Amazarov, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. I am sorry I got you into this. I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm -hmm. He said similar things before. When we were students, the Moshai paired us together. We've never gotten along. Hmm. You need to be careful. I'm still learning about Angara, but that sounded more personal than a childhood rivalry. He's too smart to attack me directly. Aksul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Okay, and what might that be? On hold, wait for Aksul to make his next move. Okay, never mind. I did level up though. So might be handy for that. Um, I do have a, a backup plan in mind because I thought that was going to be a longer mission. But we're going to have to wait again. So uh, yeah, I'm going to help out PB reclaim Pok. So I'll see you guys on Kadara in a second. So back at the bar, we've been here quite a few times already. And it's really admirable that, that we don't get kicked out every time. Because uh, yeah, we've kind of well, cleared this bar out already. Hello, PB. You are my new best friend. Ah, Ryder, I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. What's your name again? Samrick. Right, right. Samrick here has been so sympathetic about Pock being stolen. He used to run with our pal Kalinda, and he knows where her crews congregate. Safe houses, rallying points, etc. Are you drunk? Well, that makes Samrick a truly important person. He's having some trouble understanding that. Look, uh, I appreciate the drinks and the flattery and all, but... Kalinda doesn't take kindly to people discussing her business interests. She busted me up pretty bad when she kicked me out of her outfit. I don't really want to repeat. Um, I... well, think it through, Samrick. You're sitting in an open bar on Kadara Port with us. Kalinda will know, and she'll assume the worst. Yeah, and she probably won't be satisfied the first 30 or 40 times you scream your innocence. So you might as well tell us what we want to know. At least that way you get another free drink. Well, shit. Guess I can't argue with that. And I am still thirsty. There Thanks, Ryder. I think he'll cooperate now. I'll know where to look for Pox soon. No, not on hold. Ah, okay. Go to the locational Aladdin. I was almost gonna scream my lungs out for that. Because this game keeps putting me either on hold or putting me on another planet, which it is still doing. Still need to go to another planet, because I'm on Kadara and we need to go to Aladdin. But yeah, I'll deal with that. So, uh, see you guys on Aladdin in a second. BB, you're sure you're not half Krogan? Nope. Why? Your attitude, aggression, the way you don't take shit from anyone. My mother made it exclusively with other Asari. Is that right? Except when she conceived me. My father was an Elcor. You've got to be kidding. Offended indignation. Why? Doesn't it fit? You're as far from an Elcor as I can imagine. Then it makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> I suppose so, you little rebel. My mother had me extremely late in life. She'd slowed down to the point where my Elcor father was the quick-witted one. Your household must have been a hoot. That's why I'm here. Nobody else on the team seems to know much about you. How I like it. So why are you telling me all this stuff? Ah, eh, you're almost dead anyway. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was morbid. So after a very, very long drive across Aladdin, and there goes the frame rate again, we should be almost there. So I think this site will probably be where... Uh, Hook is search the site. Damn it. Abandoned. 
They scuttled everything. Well, we're here. Might as well search it. There we go. Opening up. There's Pork. The ambient temperature is level with junk. And then the scavenger. Ryder, he's got Pock. She's broken, though. Guess Kalinda didn't take very good care of her. Take it easy, hey, buddy. I don't want any trouble. I oh, found this we don't planet. either. By scavenger law, it's all mine. Um, that's nonsense. Yeah, all right. You made that up. Um, scavenger law? Scavengers get to make up the laws? No, then you could just make up new ones. <clears throat> Well, I'm a businessman, you see, so I'm willing to sell if you see anything you like. <laughs> what? Um, did you see Kalinda? You ever hear of an Asari named Kalinda to Rev? Kalinda to... Nope, can't say I have. You, uh, looking for her, or working for her? He looks you a bit sketchy. Her. We're not with her, so you can relax. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That name was never mentioned, and please, don't mention it again. You saw any crew on site? Did you see where the crew that used the site went? You're treading dangerously close to mentioning that someone I asked you not to name. <clears throat> no idea where they went. They've been picking remnant sites clean all over. Never leave anything worthwhile behind. But uh, they screwed up and left some choice items here, though. How much for that broken observer? What, this thing? Yeah, it may look trash, but I assure you it's easy to fix right up. In fact, I could do it myself and make a killing, so uh, no discounts. Right. This guy's gonna put her back together. Let's get down to business. Okay, look, what do you think is fair for the Observer? Take this, and consider yourself lucky. Yep, that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I'll get her to the Tempest and put her together. Thank you, Ryder. Maybe this Kalinda nightmare is over. I doubt it. Don't start going naive on me, PB. <sighs> yeah. Regardless, I can upgrade my remnant scanner now. Come see me back at the ship. Okay, we will. Why do I need to go back on the ship? Ah, luckily that's only a warp away. So uh, I'll see you guys back on the Tempest in a second. So goodbye, scavenger. Goodbye. Pleasure doing business. We ate an outpost. No. Okay, speak to PB on the Tempest. Here we go. So, let's speak to PB and see what... She... Yeah, I know, Suvi. I know. Only the door would work. There we go. There you are. Hi. Um. What the? Where, why is the question, where's PB? Okay, who stole PB and put you in her clothes? Not funny. It's a little funny. Okay, it's a little funny. I received this. Hey, babe. Sorry I broke your pet. It lacks versatility. Couldn't keep up? Maybe I'll do the same with your other new toy. Ta. She means you. I hate her. Um, do you? No, she probably does, but ignore her then. Don't let her get to you. <sighs> Can't help it. It's not that she took my bot and broke her. We got Pock back and I repaired her. Better than ever. Now my scanner's fully upgraded and sweeping the cluster for remnant signals. We won. So what's the problem? It's just... Drummed up feelings I thought I'd put behind me. Turns out I just buried them. This is what happens when you let people in. You acquire baggage. I travel light, damn it. No baggage. It's the wrong lesson, though. You just have to let the right people in. Right can turn wrong. Good goes bad. I let Kalinda become important to me. Look where that ended up. Now you've become, or you're becoming, important. But you need to know, I resist checking out of this hotel every day. Um, <laughs> pretty crappy hotel, yeah. I need some assurances, hmm. With accommodations like these, I don't blame you. You are funny. I just need a little space. Time to think. Hopefully, my now Remtech-infused scanner will pick up something amazing and make all this Kalinda trouble worthwhile. And finish that... Questline, finally, because we're on hold again. Okay, never mind, okay. Uh, in the meantime, I did get an email, I think, from Jal. Yeah, there we go. An update on Axel. So let's speak to Jal, if I know where to find him. The last time I saw him, he was over here. Uh, he's not, so he must be in his room. There we go, door's closed, so. 
Ooh, you more than anyone particles. know how dangerous Axul is. <sighs> Why were they allowed to speak with him? They aren't children anymore. We can't control their every move. You remember how you were. Please, Jarl. <sighs> I'll bring them home. Huh. Everything alright? Are you okay? Three of my brothers and sisters have joined the Roka. And that Axel was your mother. has poisoned them with his hatred of aliens. And your mothers want you to bring them back. M mothers? The Roka have made camp at the forge. Many consider it the birthplace of our civilization. Axul likely believes this bold move will create more fanatics for his cause. Ryder, he has my family. But I don't think I can do this alone. I'll help you out, guy. You don't have to. Just Come tell on, me the time and place. Charl. Hmm. No hesitation. You are a good friend. Of course I we have are. A contact who's been monitoring the Roka. I'll set up a rendezvous with her. Sounds like a plan. So meet how Jarl's resistance contact on Havarl. Of course, we haven't been to Havar lately. And we're ping-ponging between every possible planet anyway, so uh, see you guys on Havarl. So back at the lovely planet of Havarl. And I'm guessing we're gonna meet Jarl's contact over here in the building, yeah. Over there, apparently. Um, wonder what relationship he will have with that contact. If it's somebody he know he knows very well or not, seems to be Avga, a woman. Any word on Tuvint and the others? No. All traffic and communication from the forge have stopped. It's under Arxul's control now. Hmm. Kind of need a way in, though. Any advice on how to get inside? My shuttle can drop you nearby, but that's about all I can do. Ephra doesn't want to make enemies of the Rokar unless we have to. We'll keep a low profile. Okay, board the shuttle. Sounds like a plan and sounds like a mission that's finally again separated from the open world. Um, hello, Mr. Shuttle Pilot. Afka says you need a ride to the forge. Yeah, the we do. The better, the better. I'm a miracle worker, but I'll do my best. You ready? Yep. Let's do this. Here we go. Ooh, I see a mountain, but everything's Joel, really, really up. Sure oh, there he here? is. Bring in an outsider. We'll give the Roka a different perspective. Just follow my lead. We'll get my family back. I hope so. I must, I must say, I've grown to like these characters because I was hesitant at first because they're Carefully, all new. We don't want to alert the Rokar. But I really Why like most of them. Exactly my thing. It'd be easier if we knew where to find your family. The Moshai brings all of her students to the forge. I know my way around. The Govatan, a welcome center, is up ahead. So we shouldn't get shot at for now, I suppose. It's Deserted. The Govatan is usually filled with travelers. Avka said no traffic in or out. Doesn't make it less creepy. Where are the Roka? Good question. Can we enter any of the buildings? We can, and there's a terminal over here, so let's let's check it out. Angar and Ceramics Terminal. Um, attempt heat shaping process. Our latest attempt to recreate the heat shaping process used to build the forge was unsuccessful. We were able to heat the rock samples to their melting points, but they simply turned to magma and became unmanageable. Once the samples cooled, the surface was marred with ripples and lacked the sharp, smooth edges we were striving towards. And then flora specimen acquired Lekka. Obtained samples of flora from the forge with minimal difficulty. Droka was worried about uprooting specimens near some of the older pillars. But I was able to satisfy her concerns with some low-risk candidates on the site's fringe. For now, we will focus on care, monitor water intake and determine an average life expectancy. That will give us a baseline for future experiments. And then an audio log. Axel pulled us out of the lab today. 
Talk to us about the Milky Way menace. Shaver says he's a radical, but he's always saying what everyone's thinking. Makings of a new recruit. Indeed. Very persuasive. My brothers and sister are proof of that. But what is this blood on the floor? It's Angaran. Axul doesn't kill Angara. The amount of blood and back spatter suggests a non-lethal blow. Comforting, I guess. That's a lot of blood. With a non-lethal blow. Even if it is blue blood. What else is here? So a few more buildings. Anything here? A few containers with loot. I don't mind if I do. There we go. And another terminal. Equipment upgrades, I know we discussed in person, but Vestir believes that with just a few resources from the Resistance, he could make the upgrades we desperately need. We could finally determine the exact date the forge was created. Aren't you tired of saying sometime before the Scourge? We've been studying the site for years, we should have this answered by now. Like I told you before, I'm not against the upgrades, but we're in the middle of a war. The Resistance already goes out of their way to provide us with food, ammunition and whatever materials they can find. I can't ask Evra for more. You'll just have to make do with what we have. What about the Rokar then? Axel was once a scientist in his own right. Maybe he'd help us. I'll reach out, no promises, and don't send another request about this until I've gotten back to you. So they didn't get any more supplies from the Resistance, so they called the Rokar themselves. One of the Rokar left a slice of fresh Elmuk at my station. I tried to thank him, but he wouldn't say two words to me. I think they've been ordered not to become friendly with us. Lethul, my brother, loves Elmok. <laughs> it's his favorite. Think he's the one who brought it to her? Mm, maybe. But the rest doesn't sound like him. Lethul is very talkative. So this is interesting. So the originally this place, the forge... My kindness. The Milky Way aliens you hear that? Axum's voice. But this site was normally... Well, reserved for archaeologists who experiment and check out this site, research this site, but then the Rokar showed up. Oh, you said you got them all. I did. They must have. Oh my Alien. god, they just Get killed it. everybody. Oh no. <laughs> Kinda missed his head there. Shit. We had to defend ourselves. That is true, but how many more are there? Let's check out this data pad. Inform Axul that the Govatan has been thoroughly searched. All civilians are accounted for. Accounted for? What does that mean? Were they uh, rounding them up? Well, it sounds like that. I do love my sniper rifle upgrades now. I don't have any extra rounds in my Mac because I had a 25% increase but probably not enough to increase that to 4 but I have a bit of extra spare ammo which is nice. Um, before we head further I'm gonna take a little break so when we get back we're gonna head into the forge and try to see what the Rokar are up to but uh, before that I'd like to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like it right here on YouTube and I hope I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!